to sleep in the masjid in Medina. He was a young kid. There was no room for him in the home. The homes were too small. So Umar did not, have, did not have a spare room, did not have any spare place for Abdullah bin Umar in his house. So Abdullah bin Umar until he got married, he used to sleep in the masjid. And Abdullah bin Zubair he was the first child to be born in Medina. First Muslim child to be born in the holy city of Medina. After Rasulullah arrived in Medina. And there are so many other examples of young Sahaba. And then we see the stories of Ismail Islam, a young child who, who sacrificed his life in the path of Allah. When his father told him, Oh my son, I see myself slaughtering you in the path of Allah. And that is a command from Allah. What does the son say? The son doesn't say, Oh my father, I think you have gone crazy. He said, Ya Abba Tif al Matumar. Oh my dear father, do as you have been commanded by Allah. This is the devotion. This is the obedience of a child. He is not a prophet at that time. He was a young child. Look at the story of Yusuf alayhi salam. How he preserved and guarded his, his, his own chastity. And how he preserved his honor and his dignity. Even in the face of most difficult challenges. Most difficult times. He was a young kid who could easily slip away in the temptation of shaitan. But he guarded himself. And these are the stories that we learn and we share with each other so we can act upon them. We can turn them into the moral ideals and we can practice upon them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to practice upon us from the Rasulullah Ameen wa akhir da'wana and alhamdulillah. previous years and all those that are interested in competing in MIST uh, from the ages of 8th grade to 12th grade are uh, invited to join us at 12, uh, 2 p.m. on Sunday after the Sunday school to uh, give out all the information and uh, so we can start preparing. Um, secondly, uh, Ikhna Relief is hosting a first, its first fundraising banquet at Masjid al Islam on Friday, January 16th at 6.30 p.m. and it will be $10 per person. There will be about uh, three guest speakers, uh, Ustad Majid Mahmoud, Sheikh Muhammad Hassan, and Imam Rafiq Mehdi. The proceeds will go to the Amal Women's Center. And thirdly, uh, Muslim Israel now has access to the Istri's gym, so we can go there uh, on a regular basis, a weekly basis, to try to play basketball, soccer, or volleyball, uh, whatever uh, the youth want to do. So that's a huge resource, and we uh, thank the Islamic School of Rhode Island for uh, extending uh, the invitation allowing us to use their facilities free of cost. It's a big favor on their part, and uh, inshallah, youth can take advantage of this. Um, and that's all on my part, inshallah. Next month, we'll be having uh, Brother Faiz Ahmed from Brown University speaking to us about uh, history and Islam and how we can take lessons from previous uh, things in, history, in our history and apply them in, uh, in our uh, daily lives today.